this uh, video I want to show you how to do a, a factory restore of an operating system on uh, any Acer laptop computer. When you turn the computer on what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hold down the ALT button, the ALT button, which is right, usually right here on the bottom left of the keyboard and then you're going to hold down the F10 key at the same time and that's going to activate the partition on your hard drive. So let's go ahead and do that. Power it on and hold down the F10, I'm sorry, the, uh, the Alt key and then the, uh, the F10 button. Okay. So what's going to do, it's going to bring up a bar on the bottom left. It'll say Windows is loading files. And you'll go to the Acer Recovery Management screen. It gives you two choices here. Restore operating system to factory defaults or restore operating system and retain user data. What you do is you hit restore operating system back to uh, factory defaults and um, what it's going to say is this action will erase all existing data. It says we recommend this recovery if your computer is infected with a, a virus and then also too if you just want to get people's personal information off and stuff like that. All right, and then that'll show you which hard drive it is. Uh, and then it usually takes about it takes about an hour to do it, so make sure you have it plugged up, and then follow all the steps. To do it directly from the login screen, what you're going to do is you see here. What you're going to do is you're going to hold down the shift key, and right here's the shift key. That's what it looks like. And then what you want to do, while you're holding down the shift key, you're going to hover over the power button and you might have to click on it. And when you click on it, it'll have an option to restart. Go ahead and click restart as you're pressing down on the shift key. Okay, and then that may restart it. And what it's going to do is going to take you to this menu here. And it's going to say choose the option on the very top. It's like a blue screen and it's going to give you all these different options. What you want to do is you want to click on Troubleshoot and then from Troubleshoot you want to click on Reset This PC and then this gives you an option to keep your files like if you if you wanted to reset everything and then have like a little folder with your information on there or you could just remove everything and what that will do is it will put it back to factory resettings so like you got it out of the box it won't wipe windows it'll be like it's brand new again so what you do is you choose to remove everything and then it would take about 40 minutes to 45 minutes make sure you make sure you do have it plugged in alright now if you want to do it directly uh, from the windows like if say you're inside windows what you want to want to do is go to the very left corner here where it's got the Windows icon, this little screen here. What you're going to do is you're going to click on that, which is the Start menu, and then you're going to uh, you're going to go to System, which will be over here on the left, and then from System uh, on the left menu you'll, you'll select Recovery, and then you'll click on Reset PC, and so it'll take you back to this screen here where it'll you can remove everything. And all that. Now, if you are on this screen as well, you could try hovering over the power like we did at the beginning and hold the shift key and do it from here. It should let, let you do it from there as well. So that's like a third option.